quietly because there's people back there. But anyway, um, today classic package, which is two speakers, dot system, SZ control as always, um, DJ, MC, event host, that's me. Uh, you've seen this a thousand times. Um, well, not a thousand, but you've seen it a lot. Um, we did a time lapse. How long did it take us? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Max. Um, so when you get a system dialed in, you get, I mean, it's pretty easy to set it up and tear it down. Um, so 20 minutes up, 15 minutes out, probably, if that. Um, starts at 7, over at 1045-ish. On this one, we're going to switch things up and do it a little different. Instead of focusing on... Uh, we're still going to you know, show you B-roll and stuff of the actual event, but instead of focusing purely on just having it be a gig log, um, we're going to focus more on the MC stuff. So um, we've got grand entrance, we're doing the bridal party introduction, we're going to show you how uh, I introduced the first dances, the parent dances, cake cutting, bouquet garter, all that stuff. So we're going to focus more on that, so you'll get live footage of how I'm doing it and then I might go back over later and dub some stuff in on just how I approach it and how you can approach it going forward. Um, but anyway, it's 608. We have 52 minutes until it's time to start. This is a Catholic wedding, so they're probably going to party pretty good. Right now their mass is going on, the Catholic mass that, you know, if you've never done a Catholic ceremony, they typically, if they do a traditional one, they're taking an hour probably, uh, maybe longer. Um, whereas most other ceremonies take 25 minutes max. Um, this one's a little bit longer, so we got a little bit more time to collect our thoughts, get changed, um, and uh, just relax for a little bit. You get here early, you can relax, and, uh, and not be as stressed out when it's time to start. So, I'm gonna go get changed right now. First things first, before you ever say anything on the microphone, you need to get a little loosened up. So if you got some stress on you, some tension on you, whatever you need to do to loosen up, do it. Um, now, some people say you shouldn't have a beer, you shouldn't have a drink. I'm not that guy. Uh, I still get a little nervous, or I used to. You know, sometimes I get a little nervous, it doesn't matter. Um, and if I need to have a small sip of whatever it is, loosen me up a little bit, make me feel a little bit more comfortable, knock the edge off, uh, I do it. Another thing I do, is chew gum. Gum helps to just loosen your mouth up, get your mouth used to being open and talking. If I'm not talking, I'm chewing gum. Even with beat matching, hashtag pro tip, uh, I like to, I'm a drummer first. So you see some drummers uh, chewing gum, keeping time. I do the same thing when keeping time with, uh, with music. So first things first, what you wanna do after you get loosened up is you wanna run through everything that you have to do. So you need to have a timeline. That timeline needs to have uh, names on it, first name of the bride and groom, everybody you're gonna be introducing, whether it's parents, grandparents, bridal party, it doesn't matter. So um, I use a service called DJ Event Planner, shameless plug, um, and what it does is it allows me to name, you know, it's got a timeline where I can go through. This is the music that they've picked out, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but anyway, um, it's gonna give me names of everyone that I need to list off. So I'll just run through here and recite out what I'm going to say before I even say it. A lot of times, if you're flying the wall at one of my gigs, you'll see me and it looks like I'm talking to myself. I'm not talking to myself. I'm rehearsing what I'm going to say before I say it. The more you rehearse it, the less likely you are to forget what you're going to say. Or you'll be throwing in ums and just tripping over your words. And that's not something that you want to do. So. I run through here and I just kind of say what I'm going to say silently to myself. As the music's playing, nobody's going to hear. Nobody's going to hear you, especially during dinner time. So you can say it out loud. That way, you kind of hear the words roll off your mouth. One thing that I'm going to advise you not to do is this list of names, especially if you're a working DJ and you're working Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you've got multiple events, I recommend not rehearsing these names before the day of because you get those other names stuck in your head if you're doing more than one and sometimes you just say what's not on the paper so I recommend 
practicing this the day of or at the actual event. Now you need to be training yourself at home, whether it's talking in front of a mirror, talking to a friend of yours, just recording yourself and listening to it back, listening to your cadence, how you say and pronounce things. But I recommend not going through the names until the day of the event. That way they're fresh on your mind, uh, not some other couple or the wedding that you did last night. You can wipe all that away when you go to sleep and start fresh at the day of. celebration of Erica and Evan. At this time, the bar is open. Feel free to help yourself to a drink or a cocktail. We also have uh, tea and water on the other side of the buffet, but right now, feel free to get up, grab yourself a cold beverage. We're going to welcome the new wet couple here in just a few moments. Please be patient with us while they get their pictures made. If there's any announcements need to be made, I'll be making those, but right now, feel free to grab yourself a drink. Thank you.
actually got fish in there I know it's a little dirty that's all right but uh, we're working on it we're working on it it's still a work in progress anyway uh, gig went well bridegroom loved it had a great time Trey what are your take-home points they were drunk they were drunk at the end like I said Catholic weddings they like to uh, they like to indulge but um, I hope you learned something from uh, from the MC uh, tips and stuff uh, sorry, we had to switch to the cell phone because Trey's camera battery died. It died. Um, so if quality isn't as good, I apologize. That's besides the point. So I hope you learned something today from uh, maybe just something that I said uh, while I was emceeing that maybe you can use in your next uh, gig or as hosting. Um, the things you got to remember is you got to be confident. You are the professional. At the end of the day, you're the professional. They hired you for a reason, so act like it. Um, you've got to take control, take command. Uh, don't let people push you around, and uh, you just got to you just got to know what you're doing. Um, practice, 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 practice. That's the best way to get better at it. You just got to be able to uh, either rehearse in the mirror, record yourself, play it back. Um, you need to try to get through as much as possible without saying ums and tripping over your words. And that's it. I did not want to just do another gig log of stuff that you've already seen. So hopefully at least you learned something from this. So giveaway coming up 5,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get it before the end of the year. You guys are going to get me there and then I'm going to give back to the community. 5,000 subscribers, something big. Uh, probably bigger than anything any other YouTuber that's a DJ has ever given away. That big. As always, thank you for subscribing. The best way to get a hold of me is Instagram. Instagram. DJ Woopig. Follow the company Instagram at Crown Entertainment. That way you can really see in depth, you know, some pictures and uh, behind the scenes setups and all that stuff. Trying to get those numbers up. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you got a question, if you got a question that's a general question that you think other DJs should know the answer to or is very broad, put it down in the comment section below. If you've got something super specific um, that's involving your company and you're not, you don't want to put it out there for everybody else, send me an email. Trey, what's my email? DJWooPig at gmail.com. DJWooPig at gmail.com is where you can find me. I almost forgot. Don't call me. Okay. It's starting to get out of hand. I don't appreciate it. Uh, now you guys are just calling and hanging up. So, I'm starting to get pissed. I don't want to say this again, children. Don't call me. If, if you're in the market for some new equipment, we have a new sponsor at AGI Pro DJ. 
We've got uh, the coupon details below in the description box, but you can save up to 15% off. I mean, if you buy $199 worth of equipment up to 15% off, there's certain restrictions, all that stuff apply. Look down in the description box. It's gonna tell you everything that you need to know once you get to AGI Pro DJ's website. They're good people. Kevin has taken good care of me, so I want to take good care of you. Um, also, we're gonna be doing another, uh, another gear review soon. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the comment section uh, because they're they're looking they're looking at your comments um, wanting to know what you guys want to see from them and me. On that note, I'm going home.